We have seen a uh, worrying declines of our cross-fixed capital formation over a number of years now, even prior to uh, the unfortunate consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic. I can certainly cannot dispute that. But however, I can confirm to you that uh, in the midst of this uh, demanding market conditions, you know, and also our government's fiscal funding difficulties, our government-driven construction sector uh, tend activity got off to a really good start this year. Never, never seen before, totally unprecedented. You know, they increased, this tender activity has increased in both the buildings and the civil sector, in the public sector space in particular. You know, we as Congo, we continue to experience these increased levels in activity and we have invested significantly in our solutions and our estimating team's capacity to consider these opportunities responsibly to ensure that they could be, they can, that not only can they be viable for Congo, but also they can be viable for our clients and for our various stakeholders that we are serving. So certainly this increased tender activity is certainly is encouraging for us. I can also confirm to you that we as Congo, we have responded to a tender activity of some 35 billion rand to date since the beginning of this calendar year. So certainly that is very encouraging in the midst of these difficult trading conditions. Going back to my levels of excitement around the increased tender activity, you know, it is crucial to note that also the various construction indicators have reached levels unseen before. Obviously, I mean, they were there before, but since the, the, we've, we've suffered two uh, recession periods, we've not seen these levels of uh, confidence coming out of various construction indices that we follow. You know, this is a clear demonstration that the infrastructure spent by government that is proposed is credible. You know, these levels of confidence are demonstrated by, the, by this maintained increase of tender activity that you and I are talking about. You know, we were concerned in the past that uh, there, were, there were abnormal delays in tender evaluation, adjudication, awards, or some, in some cases, eventual cancellations. But I can confirm to you that convincingly to that, out of recent material project awards by Sandral, we continue to be excited that uh, we have come to the end of uh, the difficult times, in particular for our infrastructure business, and that uh, we are very confident that these delays have come to an end, and that uh, even the potential cancellations of these projects continues to be very remote. This is the experience we are seeing in the market. And I can confirm that uh, our mining infrastructure business is continuing to see an increased activity coming out of the strong commodity pricing as well. And also, you know, given that government is driving this initiative, you know, various uh, global studies that we follow continue to say that it's important that government has got appropriate systems and mechanisms in place to ensure that it can deliver projects responsibly and it can also maintain infrastructure responsibly. So the president of South Africa speaks about having a competent state and a capable state. You know, we believe that a government's ability to not only initiate, but its ability to support the resilient infrastructure systems, you know, depends on whether the government has got appropriate systems in place, has got appropriate capabilities in place, not only to design or to identify these opportunities, but to also partner with various private sector partners around financing solutions, various community initiatives to ensure that these are sustainable and that we build the skills and the capability we need as the nation. You know, on the back of that, I can say to you that it is definitely encouraging to see that this is being led by the presidency and that the presidency is leading from the front and that there's coordination and affirmation of value, a, a proper decent value systems by various players working together, you know, development finance institutions, our various communities, our various built environment uh, participants, the various professional players, the various construction companies. I can say to you, I am very excited about the future of the sector. And uh, I think it is worth noting that uh, the president of South Africa 
Honorable Cyril Ramaphosa recently visited our Msikaba Mega Bridge project. In his address to the guests that were invited to the function, he mentioned that infrastructure spend continues to be a critical tool that his government are looking to use to stimulate our economy. And he confirmed that a number of N2 Well Coast projects that are behind schedule are on track to be awarded. He mentioned them tend to project, them tend to bridge a project in particular, that this bridge will be awarded sometime soon, perhaps even in the month of October. And uh, I can confirm to you that we as infrastructure players are very excited to be hearing that there is indeed not only a capable state, but there is accountability. And that accountability goes all the way to the president.